Hi guys, it's Kimberly Eddy here. Welcome to my video tutorial on how to prep raised cradle boards. I like to prep them this way because in my studio I create a lot of art with liquid mediums and these include things such as ink, acrylic pouring medium, and resin. So I'm using a green painter's tape here and this stuff is available from the hardware store, from house paint supply shops, and I've even found it at the dollar store. So traditionally this tape is used for protecting things like um, your ceiling or trim when you're painting a wall, but it works perfectly for this application too. So I'm being really careful to line up the edge of the tape with the back edge of the cradled board. I'm being sure that there's no overhang and I'm trimming off the excess with really sharp scissors. And then I've moved on to my next edge. The main reason why I like to take the time to prepare the painting surface in this way before I use ink, resin, or fluid medium is to save a whole lot of sanding when I'm done. Ink will just sort of look messy on the back of a panel, but acrylic pouring medium and resin will actually create these little icicle-like drippings that when they're hardened, they require a sander or even a Dremel to remove. And if you don't use that to remove them, they just won't sit flush on the wall once you get it wired. So if you use this green painter's tape, then and, and it's adhered properly, then when everything's dry, basically you can peel off the tape and you peel off the messy drippings with it. This prep work is a bit mundane at best, so I usually will prepare several panels at the same time and I'll just kind of have them sort of ready and waiting on a shelf so that when inspiration strikes, I'm ready to go. So notice that I am going to apply quite a bit of pressure. I mentioned that the, the tape should be properly adhered, so I'm going to go along the edges and really apply some extra pressure along the, um, the, the entire piece of the tape but especially along the edges. And this ensures that the tape is properly adhered so that there won't be any seepage onto the back of the panel. And then of course, when the tape peels away nicely, it'll leave a nice clean back all ready to be wired. So this panel is now ready to have some juicy resin. If you enjoyed this tutorial or if you have any questions for me, I would really love to hear from you in those comments below. And please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. I'm going to be making more tutorials and if you have any suggestions for me about things that you want to see, let me know in the comments as well. Thanks for stopping by my studio today.